All right, and we're back on the Mana Symbol channel. Here on a Tuesday night, we got Tuesday Brews Days. So uh, we are playing Bant, the Ideal Prison. This was a uh, viewer submission from J.K. Torborg, uh, formerly of, um, what is it called, fame? Uh, Spell Shift fame. Uh, so he was playing a lot of a deck called Spell Shift. And um, uh, occasionally had some uh, level of result with it. Uh, he's apparently been tantalizingly close to a trophy with this one, but hasn't quite gotten there yet. But I'm sure uh, we'll do so within the near future. Um, so we're playing Bant, the Ideal Prison. So this has some similarities to the Enduring Ideal decks of um, many months back, something like four or five months back. So we're still playing Lotus Bloom, uh, usually seen in Ad Nauseum. This is a suspend artifact. You suspend it, and then uh, three turns later, you get a uh, Black Lotus. And we're using that to make it easier for, easier for us to cast Enduring Ideal. For seven mana, this is an epic sorcery that says, search your library for an enchantment card, put it on the battlefield, then shuffle. Epic means that uh, for the rest of the game, you can't cast spells. However, at the beginning of each of your upkeeps, you get a copy of this spell. So what this means is we get to tutor our deck for uh, enchantments, either expensive ones or cheap ones that we would want in particular uh, arrangements. Um, so we have uh, Solemnity. This is an enchantment that says players can't get counters and counters can't be put on artifacts, creatures, enchantments, or lands. And besides this being excellent hosing for Infect and Hardened Scales, um, this card also teams up with either Phyrexian Unlife or Nine Lives to make you essentially unkillable. Um, this prevents uh, all damage from being dealt to you. Um, and Unlife uh, says you don't lose the game for having zero or less life. And if you do have zero or less life, all damage is dealt to you as though the source had Infect. But of course, the Solemnity will prevent you from gaining counters, whereas with nine lives, uh, Solemnity will prevent the nine lives from gaining counters. So we have uh, two different ways to team up with Solemnity to stay alive. Um, we are playing Wargate in this deck. Turtle Power pointed that out. So this is a sorcery for green, white, blue, and X. And the reason we're playing Wargate is besides being a reasonable uh, tutor package, tutor in general, uh, you can use this to ramp out a land if you want. Um, you can use it to ramp out a Utopia Sprawl. I don't know why you'd do that if you could just ramp out a land. You can use it to find one of your Sterling Groves, but more importantly, you can use it on three mana to find a Lotus Bloom and put that into play. So it's like three mana accelerates you for three mana. It, it's um, kind of similar to um, how a Pentad Prism would work. Uh, in that you get a temporary nine mana on the next turn. Uh, yeah, um, also, yeah, so J.K. Torborg pointing out that if you have two nine lives, whenever you take damage, you decide which one the counters go on until you stack up to nine counters. Um, and the counters go on for each damage instance. So if your opponent has, say, two creatures and you have two nine lives, um, they have to both go to eight counters, so 16 total damage instances before you will die. Um, so there's that. And uh, then we have uh, the tutor package that is mostly used for the Enduring Ideal. These are sort of the, the win conditions at the end of the game. Um, so we've got Overwhelming Splendor, which uh, causes all creatures, uh, enchanted player. So we, we it's a curse and you put it on your opponent. Uh, all of their creatures will be 1-1 one, one with no abilities, and they can't activate abilities that are not mana abilities or loyalty abilities. This means they can still activate mana abilities, they can still activate loyalty abilities. Um, we have uh, Form of the Dragon. This is the go-to win condition for these decks. Um, you can't be attacked by creatures without flying. You have a moat ability. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, you deal... Sorry, at the beginning of each... Yeah, at the beginning of your upkeep, you deal 5 damage to any target, and at the end of each... Uh, turn your life total becomes five um, you've got an out of time uh, this is a board wipe essentially so it, it gains counters equal to the number of um, uh, creatures on the battlefield and removes all the creatures um, this is very interesting that um, if there's a solemnity in play this can't gain counters so what happens if you play out of time with out of time, out of time, with a Solemnity in play, is that it doesn't gain counters, 
And then at the beginning of your upkeep, you attempt to remove a time counter from it, but there aren't any. So you can't remove the last one, so it'll just sit there, just out of time. Um, and then finally, you have Dovescape. This is a six mana enchantment. Whenever a player casts a non creature spell, counter it. And that player creates X11 one, one white and blue bird creature tokens uh, with flying. So uh, this is just to lock out your opponent's um, non creature spells at the end of the game when you're unkillable um, with the Solemnity, either Phyrexian Unlife or Nine Lies combo. And then we've got Sterling Groves to try to, kind of, try to sort of. <laughs> that kind of tie the room together because it's a uh, green white for an enchantment that says your other enchantments have shroud. Um, Utopia sprawl for a little bit of ramp. And then we've got a sideboard, which has a lot of different uh, enchantments. The exact ratios of these maybe could use a tweak. There's also exactly one prismatic ending, which is a little odd. Um, so uh, it's it's just one of those things that's like I, I feel like there should maybe be three or four prismatic endings if like removing enemy artifacts, enchantments, or early game creatures. Um, but uh, we'll definitely see what the problems are as we play through. Uh, there's a destiny spinner. This makes your stuff uncounterable. Um, kind of more important that it's an alternate win condition if you actually have to start attacking. Although I don't know when we'd actually have to use that. Um, Nevermore is the Meddling Mage enchantment. There's a Stony Silence. There's Spirit of Labyrinth. And there's two Rest in Peace. Um, you could definitely fiddle with the numbers of these. In that they're just generally pretty good. But uh, anywho, let's uh, hop on into a modern league. See if we can't crash and burn or burn and crash. Just gonna make sure. Gotta make sure I'm on the right deck here. Yes, we are. Good. Notably, overwhelming splendor makes the opponent's stuff lose flying. Yeah, that is good. Um, no lane line of sanctity because veils and dovescape is way better. Dovescape does not lock you out of your enduring ideal. Veil doesn't hit burn spells. And Dovescape isn't as good if you have an enemy who resolves a spell but hasn't gotten nine lives solemnity. I don't, well. There's probably, it, it probably takes some actual reps of practicing against burn to see if it's better to play ley line or just play this deck as is with sterling grove because sterling grove comes down on two you can play nine lives or unlife on three and then the game could be over the next turn or it should buy you enough time to get where you need to be so and at that point they won't be able to remove it I mean, unless they're playing one of the enchantment sweepers and you're never going to beat one of those. So so we've got turn four idea, idea, uh, Enduring Ideal here with double Sterling Grove. I mean, I think we're supposed to keep this. Uh, I would assume this deck's bad matchups are control or just like maybe the same collection of stuff that is uh, that Ad Nauseam would have hard, hard times with. Have a hard time with, I guess I should say. That is it. Tremendously good draw. Yeah. Tranquility, uh, Return to Nature, um, Tempest of Light. I mean, all these things will hose you brutally, so. The new D&D cards make you want to play more D&D TBH. Yeah, it's like when I saw Super Size Me and I was like, I gotta go to McDonald's. I don't go to McDonald's often, but when I saw that movie, I was like, you know... This makes me want to go to McDonald's. What is this? Oh. Playing a little bit of enchantment prison here, friend. So this should this matchup should be easy peasy, right? Like as long as we find literally anything over the next couple turns. Like this should be a joke. 
I guess they could have force and negations. That would be the only thing I'm concerned about. Um, so maybe this turn I want to grab my first um, prison piece. This is a matchup where ghostly prison or something like that would be really good. Don't have access to that at the moment, but... This is definitely a nine lives first kind of matchup, and then we enduring ideal for the um, solemnity. Yeah. So opponents on their perfect curve. So really, the only thing that's going to matter here is uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do, Mord. The only thing that's going to matter here is whether or not they have force negation. Uh, that that's literally the only thing that matters right now, because we got one more turn to wait on that. So some nice, nice straightforward Magic the Gathering here. Whether we win or whether we lose, we had no input on it. So I think nine lives is the choice because again, they're 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 high on damage, but they're low on damage instances. Um, as soon as we get to zero, it'd be really easy for them to crack through on life. So that's what I'm going to do. You don't know? I think I know. I'm, I'm fairly confident nine lives is the way to go here. The only thing that's going to matter as the form is more... What? Then form is more resilient next turn. Okay. But until they hit you with the cycle gain flying dude and kill you with like... Yeah, there it is. Nothing ever mattered. Actually, hold on. How much am I taking? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 20. I'm taking 20. So nothing mattered. Yay! Force negation! Yeah. I mean, it, you know. That's what these matchups are. Oh, Spirit of the Labyrinth is kind of cute. A wheel. So we've got an okay sideboard here. Nevermore is actually okay. Yeah. Um, I th maybe Veil? Probably fine. Um, out of time is fine. Man, there's just like no way we can make enough room for all this stuff. So I, I think Veil's got to eat it. No Veils is fine. And then... Um, I feel like we don't need force form of the dragon in this matchup just because they're going to deck themselves for us. Like just trying to play the game. They're just going to deck themselves. Got a few nine lives. Don't I want to cut some unlifes if unlife is the worst card of the two? Boseju. Boseju is going to be too slow in this matchup. I think Boseju is for much, much slower matchups. Spinner, though? Again, there's only one spinner. And, like, yeah, I think I'm just going to play 61 cards. I, th I think I think people are looking at Boseju and Spinner in the wrong way. Wheel of Sun and Moon's too slow? Oh, maybe it is. I wasn't actually thinking about how that card's written. It's like uh, Leyline of the Void. If you actually have to cast it, it's probably too slow. Um, I mean, this is fine. We get to uh, Spirit of the Labyrinth on two. Uh, it's not uh, ideal hand, but we're playing 24 lands. We should find land by three so i feel comfortable here it's not like a plus but i'll take it well we should find green man as well all 
right? Hey, Barbecue Hoss, with that second month of sub. So, this isn't like a big hose. Oh, thanks, Barbecue Hoss. Yeah, I think we do an okay job. So, this means they can't cycle on their turn, so they're not able to smooth their draws so well. Um, which is not, you know, a huge deal, but it matters. Please land. I didn't... <laughs> I didn't need it to be green, it just had to be any. <laughs> so we had two shots there at our third land, couldn't find it. Rats. Yikes. I mean, we do have a Lotus coming in soon enough, so maybe that'll be fine. This is the best planes ever printed. Right here. It is so freaking beautiful. It is, it's just the best. Okay, we can't attack this turn, because if they have a uh, Cascade, Violent Outburst, that is, then we get bopped. Maybe they're looking to hard cast Force Negation here, we just get buried. Oh, nope. Jeez. Sit, really? <laughs> uh, all right. Um, yeah... Lives Grove seems okay, but I think we're supposed to attack first, and then if they cascade, then we, we have an opening to hit them with prison pieces. Oh, Zebra Plains is also pretty, pretty A+. If I knew I could resolve my spells, I would play Sterling Grove and Wargate for um, Wargate for another Lotus Bloom. Or hell, maybe just lo lo uh, Wargate for uh, uh, um, Temple Garden or any forest. Kangaroo planes myself, TBH. Genuine, genuinely good comment. I think I'm supposed to play something here. So let's go crack for green. Float one. Strand growth. Uh, yeah, okay. No, oh, I did it wrong. Did I do it wrong? Was there a way to do it right? Oh my god, I did it so wrong. Yeah, it was supposed to make... I was not supposed to make green. No, I was supposed to make green, right? Green is the color I was missing. I couldn't do what I meant to do. Yeah, I... Yeah, okay, good. I'm glad that I screwed up, but I didn't screw up in the way that I thought it was actually possible. Okay, this, this is kind of great, because this means my mistake was not a mistake. It was all planned. It was all, all according to plan. It's exactly what I meant to do. Don't even worry about it. Dog... Solemnity was the card I wanted to cast. Oops. Well, I guess I should have done that then, shouldn't I? Yeah, I just goofed that turn really badly. Nope. Perfect draw. Finally. See if Wargate resolves? Yeah, I guess. It's probably the best thing I can play that isn't, like, that they're not guaranteed to counter. What's up, Mir? You're no Mir Enforcer. You're no Mir Battlesphere. You're a space station. Yeah, they might go for the Cascade here, assuming that I have, like, a Tormod's Crypt. Oh, yeah, that's fine. All right, I'll continue beating you to death. <laughs> the Spirit of the Labyrinth is just going the distance. I love it. <laughs> Second trophy in two days with Merktad Baby. 
Oh, that's incredibly rude. Goodness gracious, opponent. Bonk. All right, pass the turn. I just, I love, I love the way this card looks. It doesn't really make any sense. Neither does it being a 3-1. Jeez, what is this? Oh, what? What are you doing? Are they going to get them killed so that they come back on the living end? I don't understand. Boy, did I enjoy my day off. Boy, did I. It was great. It's hex. Oh my god, it's hexproof. Just by default. My bad. Thank you, chat. Save me from myself. I think I'm supposed to rip first. I have double solemnity and their clock sucks. So let's just nuke their yard. Yeah. Well, it's like, how are they going to recover from this point? It doesn't does not seem likely. All right. Have a good one, M. Sleep tight. Oh my. I wouldn't cast that if I were you, opponent. <laughs> so wait a minute. Can I correct all of R&D's failures if I play not nine lives with a um, uh, Sterling Grove in play? So that it has Shroud and Hexproof? So that nobody could possibly misunderstand it. Yeah, yeah. War Wargate into uh, the uh, Sterling Groove. I mean, I think we just play a second Solemnity here, just in case. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I mean, they're not going to play Mass Enchantment Removal, so like... I don't think that there's any reasonable shot that they get through this. I love that they attacked with just Shardless Agent. Like, as if, like, they were just, like, testing the fence. Being like, wait a minute. Is there... Is there a way out? Is it... Devastation Tide? <laughs> well, Devastation Tide wouldn't kill me, right? Oh, no, the Nine Lives leaving would kill me. Oh, let's try the thing. So, if if I'm correct, these will be phased out forever. And even if I made a mistake, phasing in does not allow ETB. So even if I made a mistake here, the Foundation Breakers coming off the out of time won't get me killed. Phasing out is different. Just so we all are clear. But it wasn't always. That's one of the fun facts. Huh. That is a fun fact. All right. Dose, rest in peace. We got Echoing Truth. Forget about it. It's I like this so much better than Parallax Wave. <laughs> so what happens, Mord, is that there's text on it that says when you remove the last counter, but there never was a last counter. Spend Splendor top decking a land insta wins as all their outs are permanents with abilities. What? No, I, I understand you want me to cast the... Okay, I just didn't know what the words like Splendor top decking a land meant. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I, I needed the fifth land so that Lotus Plume plus the lands allows me to cast the Overwhelming Splendor. All right, we got him. Got him in G2. I might want the Oromancy here. You made yourself some risotto and you got to watch your favorite streamer. Well, I've got exciting news, Mord. My new computer is on the way. So maybe I can be even more favorite. Keep Sprawls on the draw. Oh, for sure. 
I just I just hadn't considered how much artifact actual removal they might have. Cut the wheel? Yeah, wheel's probably too slow on the draw. Drop a bloom? I guess so. It's a pretty bad top deck, but like... Uh, I don't know. It's hard for me to want to cut the bloom when it's like potentially so important for like double spelling, triple spelling on turn four. Well, like, like, like to punch through force negations, I feel like I need Dovescape can be major negative in the matchup. Uh, I guess. I mean, I don't, like, I don't, I mean, I don't need it, but I need a way to win eventually, right? Um, but I guess, yeah, I mean, I can cut it without any problem, right? With this setup, I literally don't have a win condition, though. Right? Like, I should have something. Probably Form of the Dragon. Yeah, I do. Well, not if I have a rest in peace in play. Yeah, I can't do that with rest in peace in play, though. And rest in peace in play is something I want. So that doesn't actually work. I was looking at it, and I was like, oh. Wheel yourself after it. Well, I just cut the wheel. Yeah. Yeah, vanishing is fixed fading, correct? Wing cons are overrated. Yeah, they'll just scoop like they did last time. Cut wheel, dangerous game. Well, it does seem slow as, like, a hate piece, right? Like, it's just not going to stop them from doing what they're doing. All right, I mean, this hand seems pretty good. Not great. It's fine. Turn two, spirit is a little slow. No, maybe I'm supposed to ship this. The fact that you're playing this deck means you're the real MVP. I'm the man now, dog. Alright. Damn, this thing just, like, wants to be in my hand always. Alright, like, if I start drawing good pieces, this hand works. It's actually kind of worse than the first one, but, like... I don't really feel like going to five here. They have foundation breakers and such. Like I can't, I can't just mulligan into the ground. So we're getting green blue here. Just draw Utopia Sprawl into or Enduring Ideal. That's the plan. I mean, at least it won't be a long, excruciating death if I'm going to die. Oh, great. Still pushing for partner, Barbecue Hoss. Still still on the road. We'll get there. I, I, I've been... My, my numbers have gotten really, really good over the last couple days and uh, over the last week or so. And so my average viewership went from, like, 30 at the beginning of, like, the last month to 65 now. And just needs to get up to 75. If I cut out, like, the weakest two weeks of streaming, which are the furthest two back, I would be there already. So, um, yeah. we're It's like, we're basically there. It's just, it's just got to keep at it. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. Hmm. All right. Oh, well, we're hitting lands. Dargan? Dargan. Dargan, Dargan, Dargan. If they have the ideal this turn, though, we're just kind of hosed. I don't know. Or not the ideal, the, the, um, well, the ideal draw, I guess. Yeah, I mean, they can't, but if they're about to living end anyway, they just don't care. Yeah, we just go for Bloom. It's just like, I don't know, this feels like a pretty 0% situation but it always feels this way against these decks like it may actually be the case that they haven't found their cascade spell no of course they have it and it's instant speed uh are we dead on board 10 16 17 18 19 yep just dead cool 
Good game. Yeah, nothing to play. I mean, there's nothing really to be concerned about. Like, we played against one of the best combo decks in the format, and we took a game off them. Like, And that last hand was really poor. I could have mulliganed to five, but without three or four rest in peace in the deck, I was like, no, I'm not doing that. Like, But I probably should have just gone all in on it. Yeah. Well, it's just like we're not doing anything that's fast enough to keep up with them. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sand is fine. Go Temple Garden into Glacial Fortress? Yeah. You have a stream idea? I would love to hear your stream idea, Luke. Vantage. Lumamancer. All right. Feel like the deck needs Arbor Elf or Noble Hierarch? Uh, I guess so. Sterling Groove. The Groove. Where I play my chat in MTGO? Uh, yeah, it's possible. It's a lot of logistical work. I mean, I would... I would be happy to do it. It's just like, uh, if I want to make a system and etc., it's like one of those things. Uh oh, are we dying on two? I bet we're dying on turn two, which is sad because I had like a really reasonable hand. If we had been on the play, we'd be okay. Wait, was I on the play? Am I dying on turn two on the play? Is this modern? No, we're okay. Channel point rewards. Yeah, I guess so. Well, this game looks over for them. I mean, unless they're playing main deck enchantment removal because of um, um, Urza Saga. But can't remove this one. Channel points would be good. Okay, I guess so. The thing is, if there were multiple redemptions, I'd have to have a way to keep track of them. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying, like, I always, I always look for uh, for ways. I, I would, I would set aside a specific time mord, and then people could redeem it, and then I'd have a queue going for um, a hundred k negative one minute. For 1v1. Huh. Hey, how's it going, Halsey? Alright, so we're taking three instances of damage this turn. So far. One game per stream. I would rather do them all on one day. Lavadart's problematic, but not that bad. I don't think they'll hit nine in one turn. Nine damage instances is an awful lot. They would need... Uh, let's see, each Lavadart is two, and they've got two creatures. So... One hundred K to one million, I see. Yeah, they would need like four Lavadar. Well, three would put them yeah, within striking distance. Anyway. Nothing matters because we have the slow in hand. Hey look, it's over. Pup up raisin. Cha 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 chia. <laughs> nice aggro format. Lol. Uh you would love to see it. I'm F6 in, don't worry, Morton. Have I thought about enabling better Twitch TV? Uh, no. And I mean that literally. I literally haven't thought about it. I don't... I don't know enough about it. I haven't looked at it. I don't have it on my own Twitch. I don't, uh, nobody has ever explained to me what it actually is, what you're actually supposed to do with it, any of these things, so I, they're just animated emotes. Then why is it called Better Twitch TV? Uh, I will check that out after the stream, last god. 
Cat. Yeah, I know Cat Jam and Rat Jam are part of it, but like there has to be more to better Twitch TV than just emotes, right? Wouldn't that be like Twitch TV emote expansion or something? All right. Um. So these, sorry, Prismatic Ending's good. Oromancy probably good. And then the the rest of the this is just like easy mode. It's also used to enable dark mode. I mean, I have dark mode, right? Also helps add nicknames and other things. Okay, I'll look into it. Um, I know that you can... Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll look into it. I just literally had never considered it. No one ever brought it up. No one's ever actually explained it to me. No one ever told me that it was a good idea to do it. Yeah, I mean, I like I do like a lot of the email, emotes, so I'm, I'm into it. If you guys if, if you guys are actually saying like, hey, this is the thing you should do, I'll be like, oh, okay. It's probably not hard to do. And I am not big on emotes, but I do enjoy the Twitch chat culture. So like I don't know what uh thanks for the fall there, ASIM five kilometers. Cut a Wargate? I guess. Wargate and like Dovescape? No, Dovescape is fine. Splendor? Yeah, Splendor's fine. Yeah, I, I think they're both fine. Form of the Dragon seems scary, but, like, it's actually how you win most of the... Well, not most of the time, but it is how you can win. It's like one unlife. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, you're not telling me how to run my stream. You're suggesting how I might improve my stream and that. You know what? No, it's probably just cut a Lotus Bloom. Cut a Wargate, cut a Lotus Bloom. No, you're not telling me how to run my stream. You're just suggesting it. And I, I, I thank you for the suggestion. There's like a right way and a wrong way to do it. And I think that that was the right way. All sounds like, all sounds like good stuff to me. So let's, let's, let's take a look. Take a look-see. Turn two Phyrexian Unlife, turn three Solemnity. Well, that's even more brutal than last game. Put him all to six. Oh, yeah, it, it's all good. Again, it was never something that I made a conscious decision about. It's just, like, not something that I'm, like, particularly well-versed on. Do you need an example of the wrong way to do it? Always, Roy. That's what, that's what I keep you around for. It's time for another Magic the Gathering edition of Good Idea, Bad Idea. Good Idea. Putting Platinum Empyrean into your Madcap Experiment deck. Bad Idea. Putting a Tormod's Crypt into your Platinum Empyrean Madcap Experiment deck. I should do those. I should do the Magic the Gathering Good Idea, Bad Ideas. I freaking love the, the Good Idea, Bad Idea, so I feel like... I feel like that's that's right up my alley so should i sterling groove here and fetch up the uh no sterling groove is a hexproof enchantment so we just play that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and then we play a tap land and <laughs> no i've done that luke the reason i'm i brought up that specific wait why why am i waiting it's too late to wait we're not waiting we're not waiting for anything you say land first? Why? Fetch land in case they disenchant. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. It doesn't matter because they don't get priority. No, but I should have played an untapped land. I should have played the planes. Yeah, exactly, Luke. I, I did the same thing. And, like, it helped me then be aware when I was building indomitable creativity decks to, like, pay attention to like yeah this 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 card is not free like you you have a building restriction don't don't hose yourself because people would suggest cards and it would be like and i even saw it happen on versus live where people were suggesting cards that um they should put in the velamacus turns deck and they were like oh that's a great idea and then like two minutes into talking about the card they were like wait 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 indelible creativity <laughs> that's that's not gonna that's not gonna fly all right. Well, we dodged the uh, we dodged the removal there. Um, just play the unlife this turn, um, and I'll just play an untapped land. I don't need to be so stingy with my. Oops. 
I don't need to be so stingy. Hold off the pop as long as possible. But price of progress is not legal in this format. Make them have double removal spell. What, on the Sterling Groove? I'm not cracking that unless I absolutely have to. I mean, keep mana up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm just like, it's it's Shroud. That That is staying in, it's like a Welding Jar. Wargate for second Groove would do it. Yeah, probably. Yeah, or, or, or a Mancy. Uh, they're, they're pushing. What am I taking here? Um, Jesus Christ. Their hand was so stacked. Oh, they're, they're trying. Oh, he's, 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 he's trying. Yeah, I'm about to go to zero. Yeah, yeah, we just, we play the Solomon this turn and then we um, Wargate the second groove or the Oromancy next turn. Oh, oh man, do you think they're um do you think they're keeping keeping their keeping their their shoulders square? Uh, they're trying. God, I love Mr. Meeseeks. I can't fetch anymore, can I? Well, that's kind of unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, as soon as I looked at it, I was like, hmm. Where's my city of brass? I'm aware it doesn't matter. I'm just saying I can't. I'm just I'm just pointing out that I can't. Revoke existence. Revoked. It matters a little. If they can't increase the power of the dread horde though, it's fine. So we'll just get another groove here. Yeah. He threw off my groove. I'm sorry. You've made mana symbol sacrifices groove. Sorry. They have wear tear? No, they've crashed through. Okay. Yeah. Well, it only has one printing mode, and it was already reasonably high. Sorry. Uh, online, this deck is incredibly cheap. Online, this deck is, like, budget. Super budget. It's, it's incredibly cheap. But that's paper. But in paper, that card had what already was, like, at a reasonable price because of commander play. And then actually being demanded as, like, a, you know, a one to four of in a format. Yeah, that would spike that card really hard. Which it did. All right, so. Play the land. So... I need another green. Oops. Green. There we go. Play the groove. To be fair, greater oromancy is not strictly necessary. It's just groove number five. Yeah, it's it's only in decks where you're playing four already and you want more. Heath finally broke 30, yeah. All my old frame fetch lands have like popped off like ludicrously. I I that was unexpected for me. Worry it for zero. Yep. Oh, Yavin Maya is giving my windswept teeth a tap ability. Wait, what? Wait, what? No, it's not better. The Lotus is better. Loda me Lotus means I cast Enduring Ideal this turn. Period. Like, period. I don't want to risk being able to cast it, right? Because I'm on... I would be on six mana. That's not enough, right? Oh, no, it would be seven. God, I'm an idiot. I mean, I can't count, but... Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, you. yeah, you guys are all correct. I, I just missed it. I just flat out miscounted my mana. Didn't even think about it for a second. I was like, the only thing to get is Lotus Bloom. Do it. Do it. Yeah, we're okay. <laughs> 10 out of 8 viewers say counting is overrated. I 
I appreciate your humor, my friend. So we splendor them first, right? No, we lock up our enchantments first. Uh, or Nancy. I mean, once the restrictions uh, lift up, I could have Roy over in person and he could exist uh, co-streaming with me. That'd be fun. For me, I don't know if Roy would be willing to do it. Uh, that one I don't know, Barbecue Hoss. I know there are, like, differences in price. Normally, unless you're playing around mana tithe, keep my redundant cards in hand as I enduring ideal like lands and utopia sprawl so that you can go to discard to hand size faster if you draw a form of the dragon. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, we're not under lock and key, last god. Like we just opened up our estheticians and uh, and uh, and and um, barber shops. So, um... meanwhile, the restaurants are still closed. Yeah, Alberta is the Texas of Canada, so they're there. And 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 again, like not every chunk of every province is treated the same, right? Toronto is not being treated the same as the place that I'm living in, which is a while away and considerably less dense. Uh, I mean, the, you know, we're they're handling it region by region as they've done the whole time. So. Oh. Oh, my opponent's timing me out. Huh. That's cute. I didn't even notice. Uh, my opponent said, it's always some censored running a cheese deck that starts the game with good luck, have fun. Enjoy the 17 minutes. All right, all right. I'll show you the salt. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it this way. There's the salt, and there's me turning the other cheek. Okay. And then for those on stream, you got to see this individual's name. We'll just scoot that out for, uh, for Twitter. No, opponent's funny. No, Mord, for the Twitter. For the Twitter. For the Twitter. I erased it from the tweet that will go out. So, yes, everyone who's live could try to remember and be like, oh, it was that person. But, like, if I ever tweet out the... Uh, yeah, it, well, uh, Royal Assassin, they could uh, check in on the clock. And make sure that they... No, no. For YouTube, everyone will see what happened. But you have to find the spot in the video. And you have to look up the name. And, like, you have to... Like, it's not gonna be... <laughs> well, the most important thing about this is... I love the person describing this as running a cheese deck. When they are almost definitely playing a deck that can turn to you. Right? Like, like definitely. Like, do you do you play the card Clever Lumamancer without wanting to kill people on turn two? I don't, I don't think that you do. Um, what is a cheese deck anyway? I guess non-interactive deck, like combo decks or prison decks are usually what. You wouldn't call red, white, prowess cheese. I'm just saying killing someone on turn two may not be a cheesing deck, quote unquote, but like, like. If you're trying, anyone in in modern who's running a deck with the potential turn turn two kill isn't like playing the format honestly, or like or whatever BS way you want to. Like I don't have any problem with them doing what they're doing. <laughs> cheese deck is any deck that's weird and you don't like, but I like cheese. Cheese is delicious. Is this person gonna really make you sit through the full timeout? I don't know. Maybe. I've seen worse things in the world. All right, so um, I've got that uh, Areo Karn deck. 
Um, let's take let's take a look at this guy while while we're looking here. Or maybe we should be looking at the the ideal prison deck. So we have story time. I mean, I guess we could have story time. I just don't. I don't know what to tell stories about. Um, let's look for modern legal enchantments. Because I think suppression field... Yeah, maybe J.K. Torborg's right. I did a big modern with ad nauseum, went 8-0, and got flamed every single round. I just... I always say good luck and have fun. It doesn't matter what I'm playing, right? So, I don't care. I, I always say good luck and have fun. I could be playing blue-white control. I could be playing mono-red you know, min range, I could be playing Jund, I could be playing Rock, I could be playing Ban Enchantment Prison. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was an ugly barnacle. He was so ugly, everyone died. The end. Firefox? Not part of the Google Hive Mind? No, uh, I was introduced to Firefox when it was the, like, the only sort of next-gen browser, and then I just stuck with it, because I'm a creature of habit. Yeah, I would love to look at that, Halsey. I mean, we got time. Uh, thanks for the follow, Hikama. Can't play Heliana League. They take three hours each. People do not know how to concede. All right. Wibber. Oh, um, someone played this way up in a challenge, uh, although I think they were playing Grief. So I think they were playing Mardu Grief Blade with 3 or 4x Ragavan, and they had, they had a, they had a poster or a comment about it. Hold on. Because if you want to play Grief Blade... <laughs> Send a bone and a message to come help us with this deck deck. Hey, listen. We're working on a deck. Want to stop by and make sure it's not too cheese? Question mark? Uh, here we are. <laughs> I gotta find my comment. There we go. Uh, ha -ha. So if you're interested, this was someone who did really well in a in a challenge, um, uh, and was playing some monkey grief blade. Oh, uh, I'm so I'm bad magic. Yeah. Um, just because your seems um vaguely similar not that it's actually similar so i'm usually kind of worried about blood moon and three color decks like this um especially if you're actually playing white cards so um I think the inactivity timer is only five minutes, or sorry, no, is is longer for challenges. But I think um, my opponent is probably prompting MTGO because it should have timed out by now. But they're actually coming back and 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 pushing through. Actually, ran through a few games in tournament practice and it didn't go too badly. Yeah, I'd just be worried about Blood Moon here. Um, you slow rolled your moons. That makes sense. Oh, nope. There it goes. Uh, yeah, I mean, this doesn't seem that bad. I mean, uh, Mardu Stoneblade is like a deck that's done fine repeatedly. Um, I like how not soft to graveyard hate this version is. So, I'd like to see some kind of Planeswalkers in here. Like, if you're issuing... If you're eschewing being a Lurus deck, I usually want to see some variety of Planeswalker somewhere. Kaya in the sideboard. Maybe some Liliana's in the main deck. 
I, I like Kaya more in the sideboard, I think. Um, but she actually might be good enough for, for main decks right now. All right. Well, easy peasy there. My opponent does not know how to cope with hitting an 80-20 matchup. And that's fine. I get it. Mm. I see you, Halsey. I mean, it looks it looks very reasonable. Um, if you want to allow yourself to be more vulnerable to Graveyard Hate, Lingering Souls is a fantastic card. It's actually probably fairly good in the metagame. Um, Graven Cairns? Yeah, Graven Cairns. Well, yeah, Graven Cairns are they're okay. Maul of the Skybonk might be better than Sophie. I really do like Maul of the Skyclaves. Um, oh, Graven Cairns and Mardu. Sure, sure. Well, if you're playing double black spells or double red spells. Oh, which you are playing double red spells. You're playing Season Pyromancer. Cobru and Kling for them, maybe. Yeah, eh, Kling Brutality can't be that good right now. But um, I usually like Kling, so I don't know. Your mileage may vary. This Mardu Mediums is a pretty difficult um, deck to sort of manage. I mean, I always write the exact same message, Larry Legend, every single time. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm like vaguely tempted to keep this. Probably a ship, though. What if we top deck Enduring Ideal, though? I mean, it's, you know. Fine, we can do better. Not like this. Not like this. If there was a Lotus Bloom here somewhere, I would keep this. I don't know. We're on 24 lands, right? No, this is a one lander. I like the idea of, like, keep this and draw lands. Just ship the form. 28 mana. Well, you don't get to count the Lotus Blooms on, on this hand. But I know what you mean. Uh, let me check my mana costs. Do... Is is white, blue... No, it's just blue, uh, white, green, and then all three colors. And then whites. So we're going to go uh, Temple Garden. No. Breeding Pool with white? Temple Garden with white. Oh, I don't have any double white, so we can just go Breeding Pool with white. And then if I draw a double white card, well, guess what? That means I didn't draw a land, so we're still in trouble. No Ponza one time? Why would you wish that evil on me? That chap from Canada. Why would you wish that evil on me? Nobody's playing Ponza. I don't believe you. That's not true. That's impossible. Dice Factory. Permanents can have counters placed on them, eh? Scoop the whole match, it's over. I, somehow, I'm, uh, I'm not gonna agree with you. Nice deck. Pick W. No, it's Dice Factory, Torborg. They're fucked. <laughs> All right, opponent. Now play an Urza Saga because you know what? This this hoses you twice. Urza Saga will never produce mana. <laughs> and opponent's reading, and opponent's reading. <laughs> Delightful. 
And I, I like that one. All right, and we got Stony. Um, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. <laughs> oh, bloody solemnity! <sighs> All right. Um. So, Dovescape probably not necessary here. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. It's like cut like an unlife or two. Because they're probably not going to kill us that quick. I was only away for one day, Halsey. One day. I was away for one day. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you type exclamation point dex, you'll get there. Um, or I can give you a direct link. Yeah, um, but here's a direct link. I mean, I assume that their deck is not going to be able to do anything particularly quick. Um, I'm wondering if they're playing like the old school style ones that have Chalice, or if they're um, on like Cherry X Men's version where they're playing like Mono Blue. And we'll find out. Yeah, you can post that. Uh, that chat from Canada. Post anything you want, anytime you want, and do so responsibly. I'm going to treat you as an adult until you give me a reason not to. So, Post away anything that you believe is sort of contextual to the chat. If you're having a chat with someone, you can post things. If you're wanting me to look at something, you can post thing. If you think something is a funny cat video, maybe don't post a thing. But if it's really funny... Kahira? Swiss Sneeze? We could play Kahira. I don't want to play Kahira, but... Oh, crap. I didn't suspend the bloom. Sorry. I was talking. Yeah, yeah, relax. If I lose, I lose. And it's definitely my fault, alright? Don't worry about it, guys. I clicked on the bloom, and then it didn't do the thing, and it's fine. I'm just a late bloomer. They'll come in someday. That's what my mom said. Ha! Huh. It's a good top deck. I don't know. This thing? Sack it. Do it! <laughs> I mean, they have a lot of mana. Link's clean. Also, <laughs> it's clean. It's a clean 404. <laughs> Did I suspend this time? I hope I did. <laughs> uh-huh. Karen? Okay. This could this could get through what we're doing. It also um shuts down my lotus. So it didn't matter if I had it on time or not. They have ratchet bomb. They can't crank it. If they have engineered explosives, they they can't do anything with that. We're dead. No, we're not dead. What are you talking about? We're not dead at all. Yeah, they scooped. They don't have anything. Most of their answers can't do it. <laughs> Best meta call ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh stones need they're probably not playing it why would why would anyone play o stone <laughs> roy i thought about it i guess they didn't have anything like i don't know yeah o stone yeah exactly like yeah, I guess Liquid Metal would have been, like, kind of annoying, but, like, I think we could have played through it, maybe. No, well, with, not with the Lotus Bloom. 
Yeah, it's possible they just don't run liquid metal or that they just didn't want it. They were just like, you know what? Screw this. First thing you grab is Overwhelming Splendor. Why? They can still activate Planeswalkers, right? Or did I mis misread that? Because they can't activate us. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, they were still they were still less salty than the aggro player. Um uh, this is probably a hand I should ship. I mean, I'm on a I'm on the draw. So I should probably send this like, we could just do better. There we go. In modern, I typically just ask myself the question, can I do better? Like, that that just, it just works for me. I don't know if that works for anyone else, but for me, I just ask myself, like, can I do better than this? Like, in the modern format, am I, am I going to be able to deal with my opponent playing something real, like turn one Soul Scar Mage? Or, no, not uh, turn one Dragon's Rage Chandler? Is that a hand that I could beat? Because that first one probably was going to be. You can always do better, but your girlfriend is nice anyway. Nice. <laughs> yeah, my girlfriend was nice, but you should have told that to my ex-wife. She did not appreciate the comment. Yeah, and then yeah, I mean, when you're on the London, when you have the London Milligan, like it's just so powerful, it's crazy. Hello, Stolemnity stops vile. It does do before it gets to two, which I guess is the important part. Eve ball, vile. Yeah, it was vile. Sorry, I read vile with I deciphered vile. From Eve Bull. Should have read Harems for Dummies. I knew there was a For Dummies book that I really wanted to read. Step one. Unless you're an English or Scottish king, do not mention your mistress to your wife. If you are an English or Scottish king, press one. You have selected Regicide. If you know the name of the king or queen being married, press one. What 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 is happening? I like it, Luke. Um personally it, it in theory it should benefit linear decks. Yeah, I'm I'm getting big lag. Oh, it's yeah, it's on my end. Okay, there we go. It's smoothing out. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's smoothing out now. So, do I have to put an island into play here? No, but I probably will. Can't imagine that I don't. I could go Temple Garden into Forest. Save me some life. And then get the island later. Alright. It's fine by me. I, I think the London Mulligan is better for magic. I think it's slightly better for unfair decks than it is for most fair decks. But it's generally it's better for a linear deck than it is for a non-linear deck. Um, but it also helps you, like, mulligan to hands that have removal and have lands. Like, it helps everyone do what they're supposed to do. Oops. 
They're going to bring in Chalice next game, and we're just going to Wargate the Bloom out. You can feel it in your bones. All right, we'll see. I could believe that. Yeah, back to the reasonable amount of life. Yay. Okay, good. Uh, if y'all hit refresh on your stream, you might end up um, like more in time. Um, I'm not saying you have to, but. Well, my internet is usually very good. Um, I've had like very small blips in the last little while, but uh, they've, they've not been large concerns. Mero Regery. I don't see that guy every day. All right. I'm happy to see them tap out. If they don't have force negation in hand, we should be in the clear. If they do have force negation, eh, it's going to take a little longer. But uh, And we may not have that much longer. So here's hoping. Lotus Petal. Oh, sorry, there's Lotus Bloom. The good one. <laughs> internet, internet, you're our man. If you can't do it, great! Yeah, we just jam nine lives here, and then if it doesn't resolve, we have to get through next turn. You have it? Do you has? Yeah. All right. That's game. Hopefully. I don't think Merfolk... Excuse me while I've saved the boyf's thing that fell off my desk. You're excused. Just uh, get the thing stamped by the hall monitor. We never had hall monitors. I don't know what this terminology is. Yeah, there's uh there's some massaging that happens in uh Arena Best of One, right? To help correct the variance. What uh what are they up to? Can they win? Are there Merfolk cards that bounce enchantments? I guess Sterling Grove should lock this game up next turn. I assume. Yes, okay. No, no! Ah, I shouldn't have f 6 Ah, my hubris! F6 value, thy name is hubris. Hubris, thy name is Zach. Well, I'll still get the thinning. What's a hall? It's like a tube, but more square-shaped. Oh, yeah! I mean, I'm not going to play it this turn, but, you know. So, untapped? Oh, sweet. Wargate. <laughs> Sterling Groove. You threw off my groove! I'm sorry, you cast the Emperor's groove. Force negation? Oh no, the better force negation. If you tap an enchantment, it stops working, right? Like Howling Mine. <laughs> you need a more accurate title, like Breaking the Modern Meta Before League Reset. I do like that title. It's a quality title. What I like about the title is that it's factual. It's clearly what we're up to. Um, so there is not a lot of stuff that I would want to sideboard in here. Um, maybe Veil of Summer? Monitor lizards are large lizards in the genus Vernus. They are native to Africa, Asia, and Oceania. And one species is found in the Americas as an invasive species. Nice. I like that. I like that. 
good good knowledge. Thanks for sharing. Maybe ending is just better than or is worse than veil. Vale. If I had like three or four endings, I'd probably bring them in instead of veil. Vale. But I think I kind of like veil vale here. I don't think I need dovescape. Maybe I do. No, there's no way they play like a flip the board bounce spell. Splendor's also probably not necessary. Probably. And then... Probably go down on some Phyrexian allies. Paging at Nikachu. Yeah, um, this is a different spin on it, though, Carrie and Lich. So I, um, I'm interested. And um, our boy Brewer Extraordinary, Extraordinary, I always leave Dave, uh, Dovescape for shoots and giggles. Never know when you're going to need to lock your opponent into next week. Yeah, I just, I just don't, it just, it, it just seems unnecessary to me. Like, if you set up Shroud, you shouldn't need it. So, again, I can play a game where I have access to blue mana without ever putting a, uh, an island to play. Oh. Um, I need to look out for the Tide Shaper. Shoot. I mean, I probably am just supposed to jam the Sprawl and pray. It's just too good to yeah, it's it's just too good. Um so they can't kick it. Oh yes they can. All they need is a second land. Ah uh, I could always sprawl next turn and hold up Veil. Vale. That seems like really scared. Maybe with my low resources it's the right thing to do though. I shouldn't have fetched there if this was my plan, but they may be disincentivized from playing the Tide Shaper, so I don't hate this. And then if I get to cycle the Veil, there's a good chance I draw uh, a land. What am I doing on turn two anyway? I don't, casting any of my three mana spells? Just, just literally any of them? They're all great. Um, I'd like to solve the puzzle. Uh, don't cast your sprawl on one. That's correct. I think it was correct too. I mean, we I, I did screw up the the fetch, but otherwise, I think that was really slick. And then we'll go garden. Put this on. I want to put it on white. This means I have access to double white. This will give me access to blue. And if they turn either of these into islands, I'm okay. Yeah. So now I have access to all my colors, no matter what they do. So they'll have to shoot down the forest if they have a second Tide Shaver. Obviously, the Aether Violon. Two is sucky in terms of speed, but. <laughs> oh, so close. We're looking for what is don't cast your sprawl on one answers in the form of a question, please. Answers in the form of a question, please. Okay. So we're, we're definitely going to run into some counter magic here. Um, I think the first thing I'm going to do is cast Wargate. You want to cast Solemnity? I guess. Their Vile's already on two, though. It's not going to help me. But if Wargate resolves, I get enough mana to start double spelling. So that's that's why I'm going to do that. One time, no second Shaper? What's wrong with second Shaper now? Second Shaper's too late. Second Shaper won't do anything to disrupt me. 
I mean, not not anything realistic. <clears throat> I was almost tempted to just grab a land with that. Do you think of doing something like um, drawing, uh, or not drawing? Did you think of um, playing um, some bounce lands potentially, like one of or maybe two? Because then your Wargate can kind of fetch you two lands at once. Maybe that's too cute, but it's worth considering, maybe. I'd also really like to maybe have Sideboard to Fairy. Just because it makes every deck better and you're already playing Utopia Sprawl. Well, I'm playing one of these Solemnities. Oh, yeah. Delicious. I'm just going to let the turn go for now. You also like grabbing Yavimaya there? Yeah. It's not great. What is their hand? Good lord. I, I guess not good lord. I guess it's all not lords and none of them are good. I It, it must be something like that. It could have been two forces and two blue cards that they didn't feel like they wanted to deploy. Maybe they drew a Merowigery or a Svalun and they hadn't put their Vial up on the last turn. So they were like, well, I'm not tapping out for this, so I'll just wait a turn. I think because they put the Vial up this turn. So I'm guessing they drew a three drop last turn that they didn't want to tap out for. They probably had some number of counters plus a three drop that they drew. That's my that's my pitch. <laughs> Probably have another force. I wouldn't doubt it. But that means they're gonna they're gonna hit the first solemnity that I play. They did the last one. Does the sprawl fall off if Yavimaya is in play in the castle tide shaper? Yes. Time stamps, baby. Time stamps. Y'all been stamped. Get stamped. At the Copa. Copa Cabana. Maybe lead on Solemnity? No no no. I think they're I think they're out. Uh, I mean, I'm planning on out of timing, but, like, I'm not out of timing one creature, ever. Could a stamp emote? So, the list of emotes currently has, I just think they're neat, and something to do with Stampy. So, those those will be the next ones that get added. I gotta make partner first to have more slots. I can put them together, and I can put them in rotation. So, like, some of the ones that don't currently get used that much might get subbed out for those ones. I just think they're neat. And Stampy do seem like good emotes. Um, I'm on six mana, so we just gotta wait. Just double counting. Yep, six mana. I'm not gonna out of time until I need to. So let me write up emote ideas on a sticky. No, I'm I've, I've cleared off my my notes. Uh, emote ideas, neat potatoes, stampy, stampy, stamp. Last God says Homer exactly and uh, burns with the coffee are no good need some sort of velomachus emote uh i'll try to think of something they don't have any merfolk in their hands so what are their cards there's gotta be a force of negation like that's it's just screaming well this has shroud so i'm guessing they'll want to deal with this uh legacy is why endurance is 40 dollars 
they gotta force this, right? Like, if they think they could bounce the Phyrexian and life to kill me. Yeah. All right. Well, now they gotta deal with that one. You locked in the prison, the opponent. You will fail. What's that Oats song? Out of touch, out of time. I don't know enough Hall and Oats. Glass pool? Sure. Draw more cards. They stuck in the last game for a couple of extra turns. Um where they didn't have an out. So I'm wondering if that's what's happening again. They're sort of just working through their grief. Alright, well that gets me a land, so that'll do. They have a bounce spell, you bet? There's <laughs> the peace pipe. Hey, puff, puff, give. I guess we get Hall. Hall of Helios Generosity. Wargate for Shroud. Oh, right. I could have gone bigger. I literally forgot that we could do anything other than cast it for zero. Because we only did it once. So I'm bad at magic. So that's fun. Um, Bloom then? I don't just want to land. If they counter my enduring ideal, I, I just want to be able to cast the next one. So let's get another temple garden. I think it's okay. Maybe I should cast the out of time. Just like see if they'll take the bait. Here, opponent, wrath of God. Oh, okay. Bye, friends. Wait, what the? Can anyone explain to me why out of time untaps the creatures before it phases them out? Anyone? I assume that's only so that people don't misunderstand what's going to happen. Because that is not necessary. Phase says untap then X. What? What? Phase says untap then X? No, I mean, I know how phasing works. It just doesn't... Yeah, I think it's just because they don't want people to be confused. Phase untaps it. No, it does not. No, you can you can have a, a card be tapped and phased out. 110%. That is that is not Yeah, that's that is not a thing that needs to exist. The permanence phase in before you untap during your untap step. So I think it's just to help with confusion. But I just think it's really funny that it's on the card. Like, they printed a card with phasing, and then they were like, wait, wait. Let's try to mitigate this. Let's, let's... Yeah, I think it's to avoid confusion. But it's really funny to me that, like, when I look at it, it just says, when out of time enters the battlefield, untap. Like, that's all I can read on the card. <laughs> Probably make it easier to code? Maybe. <laughs> What's he used phasing? What's he hurt itself in its confusion? I love it. I love it. Yeah. No, it's okay, JK. That's what I'm saying is like, of course you didn't realize it. Most people wouldn't realize it. It's, 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 phasing is, is a very strange thing that shouldn't come up. You were told nothing could happen before untap for a full year. Well, you don't gain priority, Mord. So, and, um, things that trigger on untaps... Uh, trigger during main phase uh, during the uh, upkeep. I have phasing is a commander mechanic. Ooh, I hope there are no. I hope there's no old school players around getting triggered. What? Phasing was in the game way before EDH was a twinkle in some fat judge's eye.
We may indeed lose to not grabbing a Sterling Grove off the thing. Yeah, maybe. I'm not going to worry about it. Here's my groove. Nobody knows. No, no. Phasing may be complicated, but it's nothing compared to banding. Nothing. Nothing. How many Force of Negations are you running, opponent? You've played three. I have three more Enduring Ideals. Tres. <laughs> opponents on the timeout plant? Maybe. They're really struggling on this Sterling Grove. I just want to know what their eventual plan is. I'm so interested. Oh, banding sucks hard. It's really hard to understand, and it's not worth it at all. And then there's bands with other blank, which is even worse. Repeal. Okay. Yes, and? And maybe a counter? Yeah, maybe, but... Nope. No. No counter. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but I uh I'm into it. No, I think Oko's legal in uh Commander. I don't want to get into my feelings about the uh the commander ban list but i do not appreciate it it's failing oh so they can draw more cards now oh legacy yeah oko's banned yeah oko's banned in in every like reasonable constructed format the only one it's not not banned in this is uh vintage I, I've tried playing Commander a couple of times in my life, and it, it's always just been long and stupid. Like, the, the fun to length ratio is like, well, my ex-wife could tell you. No. <laughs> No, what I meant by reasonable format, uh, Freak, was like one that people could reasonably sign up to play. Enduring idea. Oh, it resolved. Oh, well. I just grabbed Form of the Dragon, right? It's over. Uh, I don't have Double Groove. Let's go Double Groove. Yeah, Legacy you can sign up to play. There are non-reserve list card decks that are playable in Legacy. Like, Taxes is a very playable deck for Legacy. Um, not always, but... Um, and then the Affinity deck didn't have a lot of non-reserve list cards. Yeah, I, I'm just like, Legacy's way more accessible than Vintage, though. Like, not close not close like like if we're talking orders of magnitude like the difference between standard and modern is like like double the price the difference between modern and legacy in a lot of cases is four or five times the price and the difference between legacy and vintage is sometimes like i don't know like another like 15 times the price Yeah, JK, you've got uh you got something going on here. <laughs> the meme police are inside of my head. The meme police live inside of my dead. 
Oh no! Voice of an angel. Vintage is an MTGO format. Yeah, I, I 5 0 in Vintage once and um, I played the Mana Traders thing. It was fun. Let it be burn. Looks like burn. Looking like burn. Feels burn, man. Feels burn. I just ditched the ideal here, right? No, Phyrexian on life. I don't need that. I need Solemnity. Yeah, okay. Hey man, have you ever thought about coaching? I'd love to coach. Uh, no one's ever asked, but I would love to do it. Uh, Voice of an Angel is a, is a specific reference to Clone High, Firefly, Kaleidoscope. Just with the clone of JFK singing and one of his gay foster dads uh, saying, Voice of an Angel, baby. And the other gay foster dad saying, Yeah, an angel. Teach me how to play Blue Red Merktide. I am not the right person to do that. I mean, I'd be happy to... How are we already so dead? All right. Well, we may not be fast enough, but remember for next game, you will need unlife plus nine lives. What? What? Oh, to avoid skull crack. Sure, 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 sure. Um, so I just want green here. Green, blue, if it matters, probably doesn't. Green white means I could uh, draw a forest or an island and still play the nine lives. It's probably not going to matter, but if. Well, like I have fetches to get the basics, but if I draw the basics. Thank God you're streaming homesick from work, but I know you I got them good vibes, Osnindy. All right, let's not die on turn three. How much damage do we do to ourselves? One? Man, they... Oh, there's an untapped land. All right, well, seven points of burn. Boros Charm Lightning Bolt. Secure the critics. No? All right. All righty. Ho-ho, nine lives, ho-ho. Oh, sorry, Halsey. Well, I'm glad I can in some way contribute to rehabilitating this 24-hour period for you. People try to vibe check. I don't know what that means, but I've heard it several times. I have heard the words vibe check, and I, I don't know what they mean, but... Well, they're not dead. Like, in theory, they can beat a nine lives. Uh, oop, 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 oop. Okay. Solemnity on top. Draw. Fetch a land. Well, we didn't need to tutor Halsey. We had it. Yeah, and they scoop. Opponent's had enough. Okay. So we just don't have Cyborg for this matchup. Which is fair. <laughs> I might want the out of time. Like if I draw it on three and yeah, the out of time is fine. Form of the dragon is probably BS. Right? Oh, is there a ruined halo? Oh, I missed it. Yeah. Okay. Oromancy. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Blue Morgate. Yeah. Um, I 
Oh, Splendor is probably pointless, right? Like any prison that I set up is going to be fine against everything that they have. Do they play like a permanent, like a creature that says like damage can't be prevented? I don't think so. Like I'm sure it exists. I just don't think that they're playing it. We're not going to suddenly see green green and then questing beast rumbling in. Stomp does that? Yeah. Yeah, Skull Crack's normally what they play. Yeah. Yeah. How good is this on the draw? Not good enough? Maybe a keep? Yeah. I mean, it's it's pretty good. Turn three unlife. Yeah, I mean we we have four x solemnity, four x. Um, yeah. Rift bolt. Sure. You're not the only one with. Oh, perfect. All right. All right. All right. Our deck is like, yo, Zach. You want to four one this? I think you're gonna four one this. Uh, I'm just going to lock myself off of blue here. Am I? I shouldn't have done this, but I can. But I shouldn't, but I can. No rush on blue? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I don't need to not, though. I can put this on blue here. And then if I draw nine lives, I don't have it. But I think... Yeah, I think I'm happier with this. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I got it. Yikes. I don't think I'm playing the Sterling Grove at all now. Am I? Well, I guess I have to, right? That's awesome, Halsey. <sighs> you think you need it for the tuner? Sure. Make him have removal. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I like it. All right. Well, I don't... I'm. They don't need any removal spells yet. I haven't put anything into play that matters. And Solemnity is not a card that matters. They don't need to care about it. So, we'll see how much more damage they apply this turn. Can get nine lives? Yeah. I can get nine lives. I'm actually heavily considering it. Do you play around Disenchant or Skullcrack? I'd rather play around Skullcrack. Infinitely. Infinitely rather play around Skullcrack than Disenchant. We hit hard skip. Yeah, I know. Roy brought it up earlier. Okay, so... Yeah, we we Wait, what? No, hold on. What am I saying? I think they're likely to have three or four skull cracks. I don't know how many disenchants they'll have. Grab unlife to play around skull crack or grab lives to play around enchantment removal. Right. Okay. I'm I'm grabbing lives. I'm just I'm I'm uh, I'm grabbing lives. I want the I want the hexproof. I would rather. No, does that make sense? That doesn't make sense, right? They all also may miss the skull crack line. Yeah. 
But the way it actually works, does it? Well, they don't play disenchant. They play like wear tear or or rip apart. We he. I don't think they meant literal disenchant. I think they meant a disenchant like effect. So nine lives says. If a source would deal damage to you, prevent that damage. But so they also have to kill me the turn that they, the turn that they skull crack. They also have to kill me on the same turn they skull crack. I think it's probably better to take the nine lives. Yeah. Yeah. Where where terror is just generally good right now, so I. Yeah. Which is not impossible. Like, I'm about to go to 9, and they could get me lower, but they have to know how 9 lives functions, like, in particular. Wear Tear is very good because of uh, Urza's Saga. Okay, so that's one instance. If they have two bolts in hand, then Skull Crack on their turn would kill you. But yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that definitely was possible, but... And currently, each spell that I play is a damage instance on the nine lives. So, like, I'm about to throw another one on there with the Lotus Bloom. There's another one, the Lava Spike. Yeah, like, Wear Tear is also sick because it's a two for one. That's a good draw. Although. These two don't play nicely together, so we play the Solemnity now. I'm curious if I'm supposed to play the... Oh, they're done. They're just out. <laughs> they don't want to play anymore. No, opponent, come back! Come back, opponent! I didn't mean it! No! Wow. That was, uh... When the format gets a little aggro... This is right where to be. Yeah, even without the combo, three mana to gain almost 20 life is pretty good. <laughs> I, d I definitely meant it. <laughs> so... Yeah, this, uh, this is really good. I... <sighs> Bye, Halsey. Take care. I liked Wargate... Um, and I like the Lotus Blooms. Is there any way that you could see playing a Soul Talisman in this deck? Um, JK Torborg? This might be the Soul Talisman deck that Jiggy was asking for. Um, so let's, let's look that up, because I, it might be. So, SOL Talisman, um, it's a Soul Ring. Uh, what's the suspend time? Is it three? Five? Is it stupid? How bad is it? Just give one of these. Three. Uh, thanks for the follow there, Grumpy Beats. It's three, to su it's spend three, you could cost some mana, um, but you can wargate it out, and it comes in untapped then. It's less explosive, but it doesn't go away, right? So if your colors are good, which they often are, um, this seems like a pretty good add. Um, plus it comes in old frame. So, uh, yeah, yeah. No, you, you play it as one. You, you're not looking to suspend it on one, but it's like there's probably a bunch of games where you can Wargate on three or four to get two colorless. And then, like, on four, you could Wargate and then play a Solemnity or a Phyrexian on life. Like, if that's the setup you have... And then next turn, be much more able to cast a top decked um, Enduring Ideal or uh, Overwhelming Splendor or Form of the Dragon or, or Dovescape or any of that nonsense. So that's that's an interesting idea. I also would love if these more expensive spells could n not be those. So by that, I mean... Are there enchantments where you can sink mana into them to win the game instead of doing these goofy giant prison pieces? Because it really felt like the small ball prison, just like all the three mana enchantments, were like super good. Um, 
So Myth realized I I mean the only problem I have with that is you have to boot it up into a creature and then it dies. I just mean like something where you can sink in X mana and just and then just like mill them. Or um what was the one what was the one where if you ever resolve ideal versus control dovescape is mission critical? Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, I really felt like that was maybe where I wanted to be moored. But what happens then is I think you end up um, going down this, the road Compadres, where... It is uh, thanks for the follow there, Nunchbox, Lunchbox 6977. Yeah, I know Helix Cynical, Alex. We don't have that kind of mana. Brings me the head of Colonel Montoya. Um, I... The Enduring Ideal part... part felt the most clunky but yeah you end up as enchantress i think if you cut the enduring ideals you just end up becoming enchantress um which is not a bad deck i just think it's like quite different from this um scuttle tide blocks and protects you hold on right, that's the crab enchantment so it's got delirium discard a card create an o3 blue crab creature crabs you control get plus one plus one um. Oh, en Enchantress is almost definitely better than this deck, but that's not the point. Um. But Enduring Ideal does something Enchantress won't be able to do, which is from like a low card status, um, like a, a low number of cards you can come out ahead. But uh, realistically, if the hate for Enchantress ever started actually coming strong it would also crush this deck. So you might have trouble getting delirium for crab battle. Yeah, you would. I mean, you could fix it. Deck needs more niv is it? No, no, it doesn't. BTL. And maybe a bunch of gold cards to go with it, like lightning helix. Playing a lot of nevermore. Yeah, I like this deck. I do. Um, <laughs> deck blows up by dice factory 24 hour blue moon stream when uh probably never grumpy beats i mean i like different varieties of blue control there could be a blue control 24 hour stream that could happen probably kill myself at the end of it but and not like commit suicide as in like my brain would melt and i would be dead from the choice that i made to do that um yeah i i yeah, I, th I think this deck would be um, would be better than the other Enchantress deck if uh, heavy enchantment hate was actually going to come out. Oh, um, this deck could play. No, no, no. I I didn't mean that, Jen and I. I I uh, obviously. Um, sorry. I just think that a twenty four hour blue control deck modern stream would melt my brain. So. Uh, Suppression Field was a card that I was thinking of, and um, uh, Ghostly Prison also wouldn't be too bad. Um, Ghostly Prison and um, uh, Protection Sphere, Sphere of Protection, Resistance Sphere, Sphere of Resistance. None of these cards are what I want. Uh, it's the enchantment from RTR. Yeah, Stony Silence is good. I think the sideboard could use more rest in pieces. Um, not only that, the only loss was 2 1. The enchantment that makes 4 4 angels, the sigil of the empty throne. It doesn't work so good with Enduring Ideal. Sphere of Safety, thank you. Sphere of Safety is the one I want. Sphere of Safety and Ghostly Prison are things I would consider in this meta. Um, but they're probably just not necessary once I actually played the matches. Like, this this suite of stuff is just so brutal. Avoid taking damage and pay two mana for four fours? I have no idea what the card that is, Michael. Oh, I think 
I think it'd probably be Lantern Barbecue Hoss. Luminarch Ascension? What are some of the most played decks in modern right now? I will talk about that in a half a second. The beginning of each opponent's end step. If you didn't lose life this turn, you may put a quest counter on Luminarch Ascension. Holy crap. I kind of like that as a win condition that's cheap and you don't like. Yeah. Okay. That's a thought. I like that a lot. Point is, never taking damage is brutally hard. Are you sure? Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Solemnity hoses it, though. Yeah. Never taking damage is not the hard part. But you can't put counters on it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, against control, it could be pretty good. Could be. But then you'd have to board out a lot of cards. I just think you don't want to run into control with this deck. And when you do, you're like, you've got 4x Veil of Summer, Destiny Spinner, Boseju. And you board out a bunch of these effects. And you just hope that you get there. Yeah, usually Jen and I. I just don't want it to be something that's so uncastable. Yeah, anyway. Uh, I like this deck a lot. It was a really cool brew. Thank you, JTA Torborg, for crafting it and, uh, and, and getting me to register it. And uh, again, like we were realistically, we were very, very, very close to a 5 0 there. The only loss was a 2 1 against. Uh, Living in Cascade, one of the best decks in the format. So hard to say that that was not a very successful run with a very fun little deck. So if you want to harvest some salt, if you want to comment on the salt that was harvested, you can leave a comment in the future on this YouTube video. You can also hit that like button for me, smash that subscribe button, and you can check out any other videos that you are interested in, and I will see you there.